requested features recently in 3D Coat is layer groups in 3D Coat's Paint Workspace. If we come over here to the right side of the interface here in the layer panel, you can see that oftentimes when you're working with an object with multiple sub-objects, this can start to get out of hand or it can get really cluttered and sort of bog your workflow down having to search through all these different layers. So now you can create a layer group to make things a little more tidy and a little more organized, much like what you have in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of consolidating here. I uh, have a number of these outer stripes and I'll start with this top one here and I'll just come down to the bottom of the panel all the way to the right and click on this layer groups icon. Now you can see this little white arrow that allows me to collapse or expand a layer group. I'll double click on this layer to name it. So Adidas Stripes. I think I added one D2 mini. So okay. So now all I need to do is simply just drag these individual layers directly on top of this layer group. Now 3D Coat will combine it. Hopefully here in the near future, Andrew will allow multiple layer selection. Up until this point, we don't quite have that, but it is on the to-do list, so just keep that in mind. Nevertheless, you can come over to the right side of the layer, click on that little move icon, and drag it right over the top of that layer groups layer. a few more okay and you can see how it's already starting to look much cleaner so let's go ahead and send all these layers over to Photoshop and see if these layer groups here in 3d coat will carry over let's go to the edit menu and choose this second option edit all layers in external editor I'm just going to click update. Okay, you can see all of our different layers here. And sure enough, it works in Photoshop just as we have in 3D Coat. So if I need to make modifications to any of these while I'm here in Photoshop, I can do that. And all I need to do is just click save and go back to 3D Coat and it will automatically be updated. So that's a look at the new layer groups feature in 3D Coat. Hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video.